at the same time, I mean, I'd love to just like look at this down the line since now Stephanie's further away from her medical studies and doesn't make the money from that nearly in that kind of way. I believe she's a professional audio artist and, and makes her money that way. Mm -hmm. um, that maybe there's the open mindedness to say, you know, a lot of what was dished out was incredibly false. And in fact, you can look at any scientific discipline and 20 and 40 plus years down the line there's a lot of recanting that's done to show that a false version was delivered. And I think that that's really important for the folks out there who are not scientific and medical professionals who haven't taken the time like you and I have looked at these questions, just to take the time to say, what if you're wrong? What if you backed the wrong horse? Do you have the emotional fortitude to ask that question of yourself? What would be the impact on yourself your children, your family, for having chosen to back the germ theory of disease and viral causing disease hypothesis, when in fact toxins and nutritional deficiencies were the actual yeah. real major cause of those symptoms. What then? Yep. Yep. Indeed. Indeed. And that's been, uh, um, that's, that's kind of been, uh, I'll, I'll mention another book and yeah, not by medical doctors. Uh, it's by, uh, um, I've men mentioned it in the series before, but by Don Lester and David Parker, um, they are, um, let's see here. They are, uh, um, accountancy and electrical engineering respectively. So Don Lester is an accountant and David Parker is an electrical engineer. So, um, I, I guess it's the, the thing I'll mention there is, um, it, it's interesting in this field, that, like, especially in the realm of health and nutrition and, 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 uh, and that there are some, you know, electrical engineers who have kind of gained, I, I guess, uh, you know, gained a little no notoriety to, to a certain extent. And, uh, from, from, uh, some of these doctors who, you know, they, they went through, you know, medical school, they got their MD, you know, they're, they're, you know, they've, they got their accreditation. Um, but their comment is that sometimes it's really good to have to have that outside perspective because they didn't go through the brain brainwashing and propaganda um so they like there's there's less there's less barriers um in the way of uh you know of, of them just you know i guess pursuing the information so um i'll i'll, I'll toss that out there as, as, as another idea but uh um yeah the book uh what really makes you ill why everything you thought you knew about disease is wrong um yeah i'll, I'll, I'll recommend that because um I don't know. It, it, it just seems, man it, it, man, it really it really seems like just the germ theory is just cover for industry, whether it's big food, um, big pharma, um, big agriculture, whatever it is. Um, when you start looking at um, at some of the mechanisms of action of like, like what glyphosate does in the body, mimicking glycine, um, like some of these things, like, my God, but at the, at the root level, like some of some of the, the, the some of these some of these problems, um, some of these these toxins, what they do to, to the human body, and some of the, the ways they interfere with, uh, you know, the normal processes. Um, man, oh man, um, <laughs> yeah, they they need they need some cover for all that shit. And then again, with the way with the model of science nowadays nowadays, um, you can't really pin down which one it was. It could be any dozen things, as I, as I've kind of found out from my type one diabetes, any dozen things could have contributed to it. So, um, it's it's also interesting too. Um, and and, and that same regard of germ, germ theory of disease, germ theory being cover for industry, that they blame everything on viruses, and um. Yeah, I mentioned I'll mention this uh, for for your benefit, Daryl. But yeah, when I was diagnosed, diagnosed type one diabetes, that's what they said. They're like, you know, it must have just been a virus because no one in my family had had diabetes. They said it must have been a virus, and I didn't, really didn't think about that too much until until now. And it's like, oh, really? So it couldn't have been any of these other dozen things. No, no, certainly not. Certainly not. Um, so um, again, yeah. I don't I don't provide medical advice, um, but uh, what I've found to be really successful for me. Um, and before you do it, like even, even like before, while you're doing your research and it's just a smart thing to do, right? It makes sense. Limit the ingestion of toxins because the less toxins you intake, the less use you'll need of your detoxification pathways, which are your lungs and your skin and, um, et cetera, et cetera. So, um.